Hi, this is Chris with Sonoma Partners with another installment in our video series entitled What's New in CRM 2011? Uh, today I want to focus on the second part of our form enhancements discussion. Uh, today I want to focus on some of the new controls that are available for forms, namely the subgrid and the SharePoint integration. So as you can see, we're in the web client for CRM 2011 online and I'm going to open opportunities. I'm going to open one up and we can see here that we've actually added a subgrid directly onto the form. Now before this was possible but not without some development and some customization. Well now out of the box you have the ability to add these subgrids and subgrids can relate to any uh, entity almost that is related to these entities. So for instance opportunities have things associated like line items, uh, quotes, orders, activities, and so once we put one of these on the form, we can then interact with them. And as you can see, the ribbon will update and give you um, options specifically for that subgrid. So I can go through right here and add a new product for this opportunity right into the subgrid. We'll pull up our widget real quick. And we'll better give that a unit so we don't get yelled at. And then save it. Oh, maybe I give a quantity too. And now we'll save it. And so then that will go ahead and save itself directly onto the grid and now associate with this opportunity. So we can now go back to the opportunity ribbon, save the opportunity, and once we do, we can watch it recalculate. And now we can see that the system generated, system calculated revenue will update with that new line item that we added. So subgrids are a great way of cutting down people's need to go out and click the um, navigational bars to go in uh, and dig in and find all the other information that you always wanted to see. Uh, you used to have to open up multiple windows to get products and now you can put it right there on the form. So a great time saver right there. Let's close this up and check out the SharePoint integration. So Microsoft's done a lot of great things to integrate CRM and SharePoint and cut down on um, you know, duplicate data entry and, and uh, clumsy data management. So in my contacts, I have actually set up a sample SharePoint 2010 site. And the, actually let me close this one. Let me open up one that actually hasn't been used yet with SharePoint. So as you open up a record, um, you will get the navigational option to go to the documents on the left hand side for this entity. And with the way the integration works, you can configure it to where you just point it to a, a root location on your SharePoint site that you want all the documents stored for your CRM data. And then you can decide how the um, URL should be formatted for new records. So as I create new entities or new records rather, um, as I work with the existing records that I've never worked with before in the document management side, it'll detect whether they have a CRM uh, site set up for that record to store their records. So in this case, it sees that I've never used this record on SharePoint and it wants to automatically create the uh, folder for me. So that's, you know, great time saver. I don't have to do that myself. And now it does it. It creates it live right there on the SharePoint site. And now I have that link to this record. So I can go through now and add a Word doc sitting on my hard drive and save it. And it then gives me all the SharePoint options I'm used to dealing with. And, you know, there's my link. I can work with SharePoint, um, SharePoint documents with this record and, you know, vice versa. I can go out to SharePoint, open this up, give it a second here. It'll, this is, you know, the SharePoint side of it. So you can work with the same documents, the same records on either side, SharePoint or CRM. And it's nice because it's intelligent. So, you know, you just give it a location and from there, it's just going to populate each record as it comes up. And so you keep a nice organizational structure of your documents. You can even split it out by entity. So if I do accounts, they go in a whole separate section, separate from my contacts. And you can even extend this to other entities and even custom entities in this.
And a great part about this is you're not just doing simple document management. Let's go back to that record real quick. You actually can take advantage of all the different features in SharePoint right through CRM. So as you see here, we can do version control, um, you know, version history, checking in, checking out, access control. Um, and you can even take advantage of the workflow system within SharePoint. So as you can see, the ability to add a grid right onto your form is going to save you a ton of time of not having to go out there and click links and open up window after window looking for the related data you're looking for for your records. And the SharePoint integration will make document management a snap. It handles all the organization for you behind the scenes and even extends it beyond simple document management and gives you the ability to do access control, check in, check out capabilities and a versioning history. So a lot of great features around the uh, form side. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking to you again soon.